Good evening, members of the media. Thank you very much for joining us for this pre-match press conference of the Total Energies CAF uh, Confederations Cup. I am joined by Coach Manja Nungasi as well as uh, the skipper, uh, Happy Jele. Um, Coach, uh, well done on making it to this stage of the competition again. Um, preparations, playing here in Nelspreet in what is uh, supposed to be an away game. Uh, but you are still within the, the borders of your country. Uh, just tell us how the preparations for this match has been, and um, is there any psychological bearing playing away from home while you are actually still in the country? The preparations are going well. Uh, we are very cautious about opponents. A very good team, a very physical, a police force team. Uh, you could see they are structure their conditioning and how they play uh, they play in a block uh, most games that they have played you see them in a block uh, very good uh, when they shape with them see right back they shape with the uh, left back lamini center back and makakula very resolute uh, very physical and also in their defensive midfield uh, with mapasenas and 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 uh, and Mata. Very, very strong team. And on top, they've got a South African who plays uh, as a leading striker uh, who played for University of Pretoria before. Whether they use him or they use Tien Camp, they are very, they're a very strong team. Uh, fast wingers coming on the right. Uh, Makakula number 10, who I think is their best player. So one is a team that is uh, very confident, very resolute in defending, comfortable in playing in a block, comfortable in playing in a counter. Uh, prepared to defend. They've got the physique that allows them to play like that. So it's important for us as pirates not to take anything lightly. Uh, and this team, uh, I saw that they've been involved in CAF before, although they, it's the first time they're at this stage, uh, but they've been uh, around uh, and they have the experience of playing CAF. So one, we expect a very tough match. Uh, we have to play our best game. We have to play uh, and be very precise uh, playing against a block, uh, but I'm confident that we'll get a result. Thanks, Coach. Skipper, just on your end, um, just speaking on behalf of the players, um, you know, just your thoughts on the upcoming match tonight. Yeah, it's a very important match. Uh, the previous match we didn't do well, but uh, there's a lot of positive things that uh, we did on the previous match, so we stick to that. And uh, obviously tomorrow is going to be, but uh, we're looking forward, you know, to to get some some results and win the game because it's important for us. You know, uh, we need points in the group stage. Uh, so the more we get points, the more we we are gonna proceed to the next stage. So it's very important for us to to play our A game, you know, and uh, get results for the team. Thanks, Keeper. Members of the media, it's an opportunity to ask questions. I will limit the question to one question uh, per media house because uh, the team is uh, actually busy preparing for training. So please raise your hand and identify yourself as well as the media house that you represent, and then we'll give you an opportunity. Lorenz, I see your hand is up. Please go ahead. One question. Um, I, um, my question is to the coach. Um, there was an update on the website about Vincent Pule and Ofori, you know, being back in training, but it was very brief. Um, can you just shed some light of, um, is it full training or they still, do you know, doing the general rehabilitation period and how long will it, we'll probably see them, um, in the first team again? It's one step at a time. Uh, Ofori has played a training match, so they are back with us. Not in full uh, full training, not full course uh, like everybody else, uh, but it's uh, it's promising. Uh, maybe in the next few weeks, we'll see him in the field of play. Pule may be delayed a bit, uh, not as fast as Ofori, uh, but he's also in the process where he does partial training. He's not doing full training. Uh, just being cautious that we don't uh, cause more harm uh, than before. Uh, but they are in the process of coming back, and we are hopeful that maybe in a fixture that we have that is so loaded, that maybe when we go towards the end of March or beginning of March, maybe they will be able to play. 
the bank can I ask the question to Happy as well, or is it out of the question? Uh, let's just give the the next our colleagues a chance, and then we'll just see you on time. Uh, so okay. please yeah. go ahead. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, guys, and good luck for tomorrow. Um, I, I would like to ask uh, Happy this time. Happy, um, I saw one of the publication which said, uh, um, you know, when you lost last time, you, you thought of retiring, uh, but now you want to retire with one or two trophies uh, for Orlando Pirates, which shows that. Uh, we are parents through and through. I wonder whether you know the parents' legends, um, because I'm sure you're still very young. There was a player called Stuart Lilly. Don't know whether you know him. Very solid defender for Orlando Pirates. Uh, so, yeah. So, are you motivated by the fact that uh, since you said this is one of the trophies that you really, really want? Uh, that's how motivated you are. Thank you. Happy. Yeah, um, I'm very motivated. You know, it's not the only cup that uh, I want to to get. You know, even the domestic cup, NetBank. Obviously, I'm looking forward. But uh, yeah, it's very important to start by tomorrow you know, to get the results because. It's very important to, to just get the loves. And uh, for me specific, um, for now, I didn't decide when uh, it's my retirement. You know, uh, I will see when. But for now, I just want to enjoy f playing football. Thanks, Keeper. Lorenz, uh, go ahead. Uh, my question was actually very similar to Happy. I mean, you've been to the club 16 years now. You went through all those finals, the Champions League, the CAF Champions League. Is it something that you have reverberated to the rest of the team, like the younger players, that uh, do you feel that this year the strength of your squad is capable of winning this trophy this season? Because you've been through it for 16 years, so you would know better than anyone else. Yeah, I think uh, the group that we, we, we have, it's, we are capable of, of taking any cup that is coming on our way. You know, it's just uh, we need to work together, you know, as a team, you know, from, from the management, technical team and players as well. We need to be one. And uh, for us, it's just to, to implement everything that we've been doing at training and get results on the day by day. And uh, for me, yeah, I think the squad that we have, we are capable of getting anything that comes on our way. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Skipper. Uh, in the absence of hands, uh, I will declare this press conference officially closed. Coach Manja, uh, Captain Happy, thank you very much for your time and all the best for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.